Previously on Game of Thrones. Okay, hold the phone. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. You think you can have reason with a wildling? No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. Don't move. This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. I want you to keep an eye on everyone. You never know who you can trust. I'll... I'll do my best. I'll do my best, brother, dearest. Well, what was this? Oh, wait, no, shit, Ramsey's here again. Ooh. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Oh, I bet you have. <laughs> oh, fun, 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 fun. I was just telling your sister. Yeah. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or uh, maybe yeah. your mother? Her flower plucked is still a flower. <laughs> just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother uh, may need some convincing. She seems like the type to hold a grudge. You killed our brother. I've killed many brothers. <laughs> sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> you won't need your sword. Not where we're going. Very well. I want to play the smart game. Gotta that was easy. There. Ah, <sighs> doesn't that feel better? No, not really. Oh, you're coming smart, too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. Child. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. Well. <laughs> He does actually make a fair point. There's less chance of him. <laughs> Definitely more chance of him raping her than his men. I suppose if the men are left alone, I'll be with Ramsay. Although I'm a cripple. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Now should I know? Griff and his men are not my concern? My concerns are your concerns. I assume you forgot that when you took them prisoner. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. 
The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. No problem. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Arthur! Oh. Run, You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. Arthur's done nothing wrong! If you want to hurt someone, hurt me! No, Roderick! Why bother? You're nearly a corpse already. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done! I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please, stop! <laughs> please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! Talia, don't look! Please. Look at him, Talia. She doesn't need to look. See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsey. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. Uh, mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick mercy. show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. Uh, You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. Poor <sighs> lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. Kill me. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. A battle royale of sorts? House Forester will win this fight. You're very confident for a man with no army and half a face. And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. <sighs> Ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. I get excited for that with the gorilla, but I'm very pleased that they did. Start. A nest of vipers. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it.
Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? The White Hills started this. Ramsay Snow may have held the knife, but they're the ones who sharpened it. I know it, my lord. I only hope you can put an end to it. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right about an army from the south... We need Asher. Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we... is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No, Arthur, no! Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me. You can't blame yourself, Lena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. <laughs> and now, to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this. He's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies, I'm sorry. Let's get you someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? You can't help the dead. So care for the living. For me, that's Ryan, Talia, Mira, and you. Roderick. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. I understand. Sleep well, Elena. You're our guest here. For as long as you need. Thank you, Roderick. That, that means a lot. you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. You don't need to know. Mira, I'll be honest. 
I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thank me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. I know it. And Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now, with Garibald refusing to talk to me, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. Marjorie is my only protection without him. I can't afford to fall from her good graces. That's fine by me. I don't need friends who get so easily overwhelmed. It makes me sad to hear you talk like that. Is it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. Better go before she sees me. She'll be a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Marjorie's looking all cockeyed at me. You still angry at me? What do you think? I think I deserve a little gratitude. He's dead. I shouldn't care how it happened. It doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. No matter what happens, I'll have your back. Always. And I yours, little brother. But we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. You did as you were told. Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? <laughs> God, they're so sorry. So the middle name. Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Yeah. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? Uh, I can't remember. I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Uh, Your Grace. We encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet, you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? I didn't mention the reward. Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. Oh. I'm waiting. Because Beska was Dizor's slave for years. Damn you, Asha. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. Yeah. I do not hold it against her or you. 
You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. Yes, honesty saves the day. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. Danny! What? But your grace, the mission oh. was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. Dragon? No. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? I have plans for my uncle as well. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. But if she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. They're just words, Vesca. They can't make you bleed. It was my secret to share. You don't know shit. I know you're the toughest person I've ever fought alongside. Your past can't hurt you anymore. Move on. We still have soldiers to fight. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers. And I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asha. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Now, well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess... I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. Because I ended fairly brief. Okay, Jared and Cutter, Cutter's sister. How, how are we doing? Oh, and who's your guy? You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. Sour, sour. It's getting worse, isn't it? We're only about a few days out from the Antler River. 
We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the free folk. No, but look. That was always the plan, the Cotter. Well. Uh, Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the... Hush, Cotter. I'm asking Fishface here. Fishface? Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. I can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and... Well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildlings. Fens, probably. Huh. You didn't lose your nerve already, did you? Finn, will you come? Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. Sorry. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Did you know she'd refuse to go north? I can't really be too angry with her. I swear. I didn't. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Oh, uh, then, convince her? then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. Your problem. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Exactly. There's a good man. Right, what's, what's this little, uh, little hut hole you have here? Oh, it's 
silly song. It's probably gonna attack me. Cool. Oh, a nice little bear family told me. Mormon. I wonder why she doesn't wear it. I wonder if she's ever seen an ice spider. Whew. Hope not. Oh, please, God, do not say that there's no ice spiders. Oh, I do not want to see any spiders at all. Look at drink. Uh, let's just drink. It's wild. Crazy. Oh, well, it's not so bad. Say is she a bit too young to be drinking alcohol, but they're wildlings, so they probably don't really have laws for this type of thing. Uh, right. Well, are the spears the last thing to look at? Nope, okay. Going back out. There's so we walk down here. Whoa! Fucking hell! Uh, Could you have been any louder? Sorry! Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens. Shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. never any good with a bow. Know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So you're shit, then. <laughs> I think you need more training. Maybe next time, Garrod. Well, since we don't have any food... Well, what's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. I, oh, I did get the rabbit. Hey, can I go back? You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? Ooh, yeah, I can that's like my whole family. I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I. We lost everything, too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please. I Please, Sylvie. I need to know. A few years back, 
One of the Ice River clan set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were. Oh God, God. Help! Cotta! What the fuck? Look out! Walker. Fantastic. Uh, oh, don't lend it there. Oh. Okay. This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. <laughs> Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. One last thing, they're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks of lily white asses like you, little brother. I can handle this. Oh, after you then. Well, if it isn't Beskar, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You don't want to be in here, little man. You best go back the way you came, before I decide to eat you. I'll start with your eyeballs. Fucking juicy when they pop. And then I'll pull out your little bones to pick my teeth with. You think I'm scared of you? Why don't you threaten me one more time and see what happens? You listen to me, little man. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk. Away. One, two, three. You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. We do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, let me guess. Uh, it's going to fight a bit now, don't I?
want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. One that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me, on all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. Leave her alone! I don't care what your history is. Veska's the most loyal friend I've ever had. So... What is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to a beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies in Westeros are powerful and bloodthirsty. Worse than your masters ever were. I need fearless soldiers to crush them. You think we're sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want. Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Oh. You? <laughs> His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Well... Suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you look after my uncle? <laughs> no. I'll use your queen's gold to get as far away from him as possible. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. You all see this cockless Westerosi? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. 
I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over with. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win. The best would be me! Here, use this. For that, you die slow. That's no weapon worthy. See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. 
I chose you for a reason. You're my kind of scum. You're murderous scum. And murderous scum is just what I need. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and you will have glory and gold! If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! I knew them! What are those things? Oh, God. Over here! Over here! Killed! We need to stick together. Run! No! I hope you're right about this, Garrett. Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Uh, I am. Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. Oh, yes, Your Grace. I'd like to think we can be honest with one another. We'll However, you're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You made it clear your loyalty was with Lady Marjorie. Yet now you hardly serve her at all. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists, 
in King's Landing. It only matters what you think. It only matters what you think, Your Grace. Don't try my patience. Insincerity will only make matters worse for you. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. Oh. Or at least it shouldn't have been. Well, I, I do what's necessary, Your Grace. Including using another girl to talk your way in, I'm told. You're not above using people to get what you want. Like Good. You. Yeah. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. Oh, family, family. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. I know he gets away. He gets off to Esos. Not ruin anything, but if it. I haven't finished the books, but if you haven't been watching the series, then uh, you're a bit slow. You do not so. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your Foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. You're my family, no matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. Yeah, it is. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. Take anything not nailed down. Just not from my house. <laughs> that depends on how nice your house is. I'll show them their beds. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can. I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Thank you for your Perhaps the same will be true for me. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud 
I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher, iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Don't you mean fire and blood? Ha 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 ha. That's high as honor. Are, are they just saying the, the mountains of great houses and the mighty past the mountains of chalk? Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Ah, oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? No, Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of talking to myself. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Willingly. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. Okay. Yeah. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. I'm ready whenever you are. I doubt we'd get very far. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? Uh... I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. Are you toying with me? Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. Cersei sent you. Oh God, this bastard this Fuck Cersei. She left me no choice. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Back off, Back off Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. <laughs> Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. 
Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. I appreciate your honesty, Lord Tyrion. And I yours, Lady Mira. Although I doubt my sister will. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Except for you, but I'll be seeing you... Uh, anytime soon, I'd say. Roderick? Roderick, I... <gasps> I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Oh, Roderick. I didn't know. It's all right, Tally. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares. So I... Go on, Talia. Yeah. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held. It even says what happened to Arthur Glenmore. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Were you seen, Talia? No. It was dark, but... I saw him. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. Just tell me. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, make him pay. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Say it's Roiland. I will have no problem killing Roiland. Oh, I don't want to kill Duncan. <laughs> Go get the guards. Could be the mother. But she did say him. The fucking master. This Roiland. This looks like Roiland. Hey! Oh! My lord, you scared the bloody daylights out of me. What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Back when you still had a spine. You sold your loyalty. Like some whore in the street. My loyalty has always been to this house. But you've been too damn blind to see it. Now what I didn't see is that you were a traitor. You pushed me to this, Roderick. You brought it upon yourself. I trusted you, Roiland. With my life. You'll trust anyone who makes the right noises. You know why? Because you're weak. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. 
making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too since the day you crawled off that corpse cart, bungling your betrothal to Elena, which lost our most important ally, letting Griff force you to the ground without a shred of dignity. Going to High Point without any soldiers, despite my every warning. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed! Enough, Roiland! You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Your father would be ashamed. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. For all your counsel, all your talk, you're nothing but a fucking craven. Says the man who survived the Red Wedding by playing dead. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath, Walter. I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. All you do is limp between defeats. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan, how could you? This was his doing. I'm afraid you don't run this house, sir. Just sentence me and be done with it. Roderick, you promised. Kill me. And Asher dies, too. <gasps> Please, Roderick. What do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life. And I'll tell you everything. Uh, well, Perhaps we should hear him out. He's only saying that to save himself. You must decide, my lord. You must be loving this, Duncan. Believe me, I'm not. It was the right thing. What Royland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Oh. Prepare the horses. We're going to war. Okay, Roger has some balls back. So hopefully, family do the honor. Fight for the glory! Fight for the glory! Hey ho, go for no! What fuck are the riches in iron? Fight for the glory! Fight for the glory! Hey ho, go for no! Smell that. We're almost there, Wesker. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your Lord Brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Iron Rack? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A Lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Roderick. He's the Lord of the house. And he's been bred for him. I understand, but these men and women have journeyed here to follow you, not him. Oh, you'll see when you meet him. It doesn't matter if he can't fight like he used to. All men learn to love Roderick. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it?
So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asha, thank the gods you've made it back. Good to see you, my lord. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet. If it won't be good. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Could use a good fight. That was... That was a bit of an intense ending, now we thought to that. And it was also the shortest episode so far. 
Hmm. Not sure how to feel about that. <coughs> oh god. Excuse me. Alright. You and 68.2% did not try to stab Ramsey. Fair enough. You and 36.2% of people killed the blood song. I thought that would have been the right thing to do. Uh, you and 37.4% of people told Tyrion that Cersei sent you. Of course I'm going to be honest to Tyrion. It's Tyrion. Uh, you and 50.5% 50 of people chose to execute the traitor. Yes. All of the yes. And then you and 49.1% had Roderick stay behind. And oh, more more people chose Asher to stay behind. Oh no, I won't be able to do that now. Oh, but that that was that was very good. I'll probably do like another stream of that like the day after tomorrow, and I'll probably do some of the the opposite endings and see how I do. Cause that would be that would be something to look forward to. Eh? I think so. But yeah, now we just have to wait for the ice dragon, which I'm guessing is will finally make it to the North Grove. Um, what else? Um, Asher is going to lose the plot. Uh, Mira is going to get fucked over. And Daenerys will take over Marine. So. That, that's what my predictions are going to be. Starkers, anyway. But, uh, I'd like to say thank you very much to everybody for coming out. It's been a pleasure. Uh, I might be streaming Rocket League or FIFA later on. So hopefully that will also go down well if you're around, join in. So thank you very much for coming. And I will see all you dudes and dudettes later. Yeah, so uh, bye guys.